Okay, welcome to a new episode of Nate's MMA Corner. I'm Nate, and if you watch my show, you're in my corner. Today's episode is a pre-fight show for UFC Fight Night, Blades vs. Volkov, uh, UFC Heavyweight Clash of the Ages I'm excited about. I think this is going to be an awesome card. It's one of my, um, you know, the last card was awesome, but I think this card's going to be as good, if not better. Um, so, um, to, um, uh, as a pre-fight rundown of the main card, uh, with predictions as always, and, uh, let's get started. So, to kick off the main card, we have a catchweight bout at 160 with, uh, Jim Miller versus Roosevelt Roberts. Now, Jim Miller, he's, he's had some success as of late, um, but he's also been hit and miss as of late as well, um, you know, um, yeah, with that said, I think Roosevelt Roberts, with only one loss in the UFC, and he's a younger guy, uh, you know, less battle damage, and um, the guy's just good all around. The guy can submit you, the guy can knock you out, the guy can go the distance. And so, and Jim Miller, I mean, he is primarily a jiu-jitsu guy, and he's a talented, tough, durable UFC veteran, but I'm going to have to go with Roosevelt Roberts here by, um, I'll say, second round knockout. Um, I think, um, gee, you know what, I'll take that back. I'll say first round knockout for Roosevelt Roberts. I think Roosevelt Roberts is going to be quick enough, agile enough to dodge heavy shots and any, um, ground attack from, um, Jim Miller. And I think he's going to pick his shots at an angle and get a knockout win in the first round, mid to late in the first round. Then, in the welterweight division, we have Bilal Muhammad versus Lyman Good. Um, both these guys have been in the UFC for a bit of time and have some good, big fights under their belt. Bilal Muhammad was the Titan FC champ, and um, Lyman Good is amazing in his own right. With that said, i got to say Bilal Muhammad wins this. I think Bilal Muhammad wins by uh, unanimous decision here. I think they both have great striking, so it's going to nullify there. But I think uh, Bilal Muhammad may get um, a takedown or two, and um, that'll win him the fight uh, on the judges' scorecards. I think I could picture him getting said one takedown in round two and another takedown in round three. Um, and uh, this will be a, a nice, clean win for Bilal Muhammad. Then, in the women's band of weight division, we have uh, Raquel Pennington versus Marion Renault. This is sort of a loser's fight bracket. Um, they both have some losses in their last few fights. And um, I think, um, you know, basically this is a fight where the loser may leave town, so to speak, where um, if Marion Renault loses, the UFC may cut her. If Raquel Pennington loses, the UFC may cut her. Um, so the winner of this fight is basically fighting for their UFC career, as far as I'm concerned. And um, I think, uh, with that said, Marion Renault is going to be hungry for that win, and I think she's going to go for the ground game, and she's going to go for takedowns. And I think she's going to get some of those takedowns. I know Katz and Gano, um, you know, blew me away by taking Marion Renault down, um, but um, I, I think that... Um, you know, just Marion Renault is so good um, in her Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu skills that um, she'll find a submission maybe in round three against Raquel Pennington. Um, I think she she could you know wear her out in the first couple rounds and then um, get a submission in round three. So I'm going to say third round submission for Marion Renault. Then in the featherweight division, we have Josh Emmett versus Shane Burgos. I'm going to go with Shane Burgos here, um, first round knockout. I think Shane Burgos has great boxing, and um, so does Josh Emmett, but I think uh, Shane Burgos um, can eat the harder shots, and he's had the, the more impressive wins. Not to say that Josh Emmett hasn't had impressive wins, but I think Shane Burgos gets it done here, um, and I'll say, yeah, first round knockout. Then in the heavyweight division, we have Curtis Blades. Curtis Razor Blades versus Alexander Volkov. I went back and forth on this one, but I'm going to go with Curtis Blades. I'm going to say uh, third round knockout. Um, you know, I think uh, 
full full cal will get worn out a little bit and gas out and blades will still have his heavy shots there for him and I think he'll win third round knockout uh, but um, I'll give Curtis Blades 60% chance of winning this fight. I think Volkov still um, great on the ground. Uh, you know, Kenny Johnson's taught him well. And um, yeah, this is going to be a good fight. An honorable mention on the prelims in the lightweight division, we have Clay Guida versus Bobby Green. That's going to be a great fight. And also a uh, women's flyweight clash with uh, Courtney Casey and Jillian Robertson. Those are going to be two uh, UFC veterans hungry for a big win. Courtney Casey having a big submission win in her last fight. Anyways, there you have it. There's my predictions for uh, UFC Fight Night on ESPN Plus. Um, Blades vs. Volkov. Until then, uh, oh yeah, and stay tuned for my post-fight and other future episodes. Until then, see ya.